hello everyone welcome back on my channel today we'll see most awaited video on my channel in power bi for beginners playlist for creating the decomposition tree visual in power bi okay so if you are new on my channel please do like share and subscribe my channel and let's learn power bi together so let's see the decomposition tree so what is the decomposition tree in power bi and when we have to use it okay so it automatically aggregates the data and enables drilling down into your dimensions in any order it is an artificial intelligence visualization so you can ask it to find the next dimension to drill down into based on the certain criteria okay so uh, if we have the data of cells and the different products and products of categories product categories so we have to analyze the cells for that particular products and products of categories we can use the decomposition tree so in this decomposition tree we can take the cells and we can analyze the cells as per the different dimensions dimensions is like product category product subcategory the product names and we can analyze it according to artificial intelligence criteria so we can calculate the absolute value of cells we can calculate the relative values of the certain dimension like that okay so we'll explain all these things and we'll show you how to create that decomposition tree in power bi so let's understand it first okay and then the visualization requires two types of input first is the analyze so in analyze the metric you would like to analyze this has to be a measure or a aggregate so if uh, we have the data of cells and the products so in that case what we have to analyze is we have to analyze the cells profit and the cost we can say so this type of dimensions need to put in the analyze section and then in explain by one or more dimensions you would like to drill down into okay so in this in our scenario we need to uh, add the product category product subcategory product name in the explain by field so that we can analyze and drill down this product category subcategory and product name and we can analyze it according to the cells okay and uh, when we when you have to get detailed information about any particular dimension you can get it by this visual by drilling down so if we want the deep understanding of any cells for the particular product product categories product subcategories and their, their product names in this case we can use the decomposition tree okay so we'll explain you how to create it in power bi so let's jump into the power bi this is the power bi desktop so we'll see the data set first so we have the superstores data set so in this data set we have this customer table product table returns table sales table and the users table present okay so we need the sales table and the product table for analyzing this decomposition tree now so in the sales data we have the row id customer id product category product sub category product container product name discount unit price shipping cost and this uh, product base margin profit quantity ordered new and sales this all columns are present in the product table we have the row id product category product container product name order date ship date order id and the order priority okay so we need to do the relation between these two tables for getting the data from both the tables in the one visual okay so i have created the relationship between sales data and the product data so it is on the row id from both the table and it is a many to many relationship so when we are taking the many to many relationship we need to create the direction as the both okay then now we'll see how to create it so on this visualization pane we have this decomposition tree present here we need to click over here it will come over here in the canvas then we need to add some fields in the analyze section so what field we need to analyze that field we need to add in the analyze section from sales data we can take the profit or sales so i'm taking the sales now so i need to analyze the sales as per the from products table i can take the product category i can take the product name and i can take the order priority okay so i have taken these three fields in the explain by dimension so in this 
decomposition tree here we we can see one uh, plus icon is present so after clicking over here it will ask us for analyzing the all these dimensions so what we need to analyze like high value or low value so now we can analyze the high value so after clicking on the high value it will gives us the high values for that particular product category and it will show that dimension here okay then for for so it is like for this sales we have this technology furniture and office supplies these three product categories are there and their sales numbers okay then we need to click over this plus icon and then we need to analyze the high value for this technology so for technology we have the order priorities like medium low not specified critical and the high okay so if we have to analyze the order priorities for that particular product name so we can analyze the high order priority and we can click here and we can see the high value of this high order priority so in this high order priority we have this all product present and we can see their sales number here okay and we can expand it by clicking over here okay in this way we can create the decomposition tree and see the data so if we need to go back then we can just cross this and we can analyze the low for technology how much sells and their low values also we can see okay so these these product names having the low sells in the low order priority in this way we can take the insights from this decomposition tree okay and then in this visual we can do some formatting also so in this analyze section we can do some ai split as i explained in first slide so there we can choose absolute value or the relative value if we are choosing this relative value it will give us the percentage of that particular cells okay so we can switch between absolute and relative value from here then we have this tree setting option so here we can uh, set the density as dense we can set the density as default and we can set the density as a sparse tree okay then we can set the default action so here we have the two options filter and oblique highlight and collapse and then we can click here for responsive or not responsive visual we have the connector option so if uh, so this connector option gives us the uh, round connector or we can set it default okay then we can select the color also for that particular connector so it will change the color for this connectors and it will change the color from the for the unselected lines okay so if we will take this color for the unselected lines it will change okay it is good practice to select the friend color for unselected lines always okay so that we can understand which is selected and which is not selected then we have this bars option here we can set the label top node parent node and label maximum we can set any type from here okay we can set the size we can set the start and end value for this particular visual we can set the colors from here for the bars so we can take the color blue color as a positive bar we can take the red color for the negative bar we can take the background bar color okay so we can change the color as per our requirement then we have the category labels so here we can set the font for this particular labels we can set the font uh, font size we can bold it italic it and underline it we can set the font color also in the value section same we can do the font change and display units we can change it to the auto none thousand million billion and trillions okay then we can set the uh, decimal places also for showing these values then we have these headers here so we can set the particular font color for the headers we can change the font we can set the size we can set the color for this okay we have the same for subtitles here also we can format for the font then we have this background color we can change the background color for this for this particular title 
you can add the conditional formatting on the field which uh, which we have used for the analyzing this decomposition tree okay then we have the next section general so here we can set the position of that particular visual on dashboard so where we need to place this visual and we can set the height and width for this particular visual from here we can set the position we can add the title for this so i am adding here as a decomposition tree then we can format this title from here we can add this font we can increase the size we can change the text color from here okay we can align it in center right and left also then we can give the effects for total visual so whatever color we need we can set that as per our requirement we can set the visual border from here we can use this shadow for this visual from there from here and we can set the header icon we can add the tool tip so tool tip is like so whatever uh, so we need to create the different page for the tool tip so if we are creating this tool tip like this see we can set this first of all we need to take the tool tip size from this canvas so in this tool tip size we need to create one visual so we can add the product category and their profit okay so if we need to add this tool tip on that particular visual so for select uh, we need to select this visual and then we need to go in the format section and then we need to go in the general section here on the tool tip we need to on this button then we need to select the report page and we need to select the page 3 so we have created the tooltip on this page 3 so after adding this we can see this tooltip here so after we will add it here we can see the profit by product category okay in this way in this way we can add the tooltip also in this particular visual and we can format this visual also this tooltip also so that we can see it in proper way okay so in this way we can create the decomposition tree and uh, we can get the insights for our data okay if you have to watch more videos like this and you have to learn the power br please do not miss to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of my upcoming videos and please do like share and subscribe and share it with your contacts thank you for watching this video